I am officially recording my first video of 2021. I am so excited. You guys, I have obviously fallen off the face of the earth. It's been like a month since I've posted, but you know, December, Christmas, holidays, New Year's, it's been a lot. It's, I don't even know where to begin. Like, let's be honest. Um, we did go to a cabin for a few days, so that took up some of the time like prepping packing unpacking time spent there that was really fun we went there with my sister and her family um what can i say christmas was hectic the holidays are hectic i've just had a really busy schedule aside from even the holidays so anyway guys we're getting back into the grind of things i want to start off by recording my favorite um 2020 items that i've used products that I've used all year long that are kind of kind of became my staple some of them were already staples for me so anyway let's get into that and then I'll have you guys tag along with me I'm going to run some errands I need to go to the post office I need to make a return I need to go to the mall and make a return I actually need to go to the mall and just um do some shopping I know it was just the holidays like Alina enough shopping but I actually need to buy a few things um that I've kind of been lacking in my wardrobe like sneakers and boots and stuff that I kind of neglected because, hey, life is busy. <laughs> anyway, by the way, you guys, I'm so pumped and excited for 2021. You have no idea. I am the kind of person where I always have goals, but in the beginning of the year, I like to just write it down, put some numbers on a notepad, um, just crush goals, get very motivated and inspired. Let me know if you're the same way. And if you are and you're pretty organized, send some recommendations. Like, what do you do? Do you have monthly goals? Do you have a yearly goal? Do you have weekly goals? You know, just eager to know for the people that are really organized and love to write it down and love to cross things off the list. I'm very much a pen and paper kind of girl still. Although I do use my phone for calendar and all that, I still have like a big calendar that I carry everywhere. It's just a thing. It helps me, it keeps me in check and it helps me stay organized. Anyway, so I'm going to begin by mentioning my favorite body products. And I have been using this moisturizer for a while. As you can see, it's almost gone. And the reason why I even use this is because I use these Tan Luxe body drops. So these are self-tanning drops. So I put like one pump of this, two drops of this, and like lather it on my body um that's kind of like the cocktail that i use and it is amazing two pumps uh will give you a natural glow um and like a natural tan you could do three to four pumps and get really dark so i love that you can customize this this is my second bottle already um i have actually an empties video coming soon because i have this drawer of empties that i need to get rid of and i need to record that asap but anyway um these are some of my favorite body products so so good i just like opened up my blinds because i feel like it's it was way too dark anyway i'm also um really enjoying the zeo skin um body emulsion lotion since this is a body lotion it is so good i just learned that it does have some retinol in it it's thicker let me just put some on so you can see it's thicker but it's so hydrating i absolutely love it and for those of you that are um dry in the winter or just dry all together this is such a great product i love it after i get out of the shower i actually put it on like my knees my elbows my ankles like the areas that are a little dry for me my hands so i've been very much enjoying this since i mentioned the zero products i'll continue with my zero products my favorite products here i have combination oily skin and I picked up kind of the products at Zio that work best for my skin type. And uh, first I wanted to begin by mentioning this exfoliating cleanser. It is amazing. It helps me to like not break out. I haven't had a breakout in such a long time. I've been using these products since July. It is now January. So I've repurchased a lot of them already. But this one comes with like little beads. But not nothing harsh. I don't know if you can see. You could probably see a little bit. I really like the way my skin feels afterwards. It feels super clean. It's amazing. The way Zio works is you ha you do your GSR and it's just basically getting your skin ready. So uh, your GSR consists of um, a cleanser, 
an exfoliant and a toner and then you can also buy like the daily power defense which works kind of like as your skin barrier and your um moisturizer you can buy retinols you can really customize a package that suits your skin but anyway the next thing i do is my daily action scrub so this is literally just a scrub um it's kind of like gritty but it's amazing it just cleans out all those dead skin cells that are still just sitting there on top so it leaves your skin feeling super super smooth and then also i use these oil control pads it has a two percent salicylic acid and um the pads kind of just look like this but i cut them in half because there's a lot of product in one pad so that's kind of like a little trick that i learned so this will last you Instead of two months, it will last you four months if you cut them in half. So anyway, so those are just some of my favorite Zio skin products. If you guys have any questions with Zio, I have done like extensive uh, research and training on them. So you can ask away and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Since I still have a few skincare products here, the rest are makeup. I'll continue with the skincare. Another thing that I've been using is my Elta MD um, SPF. This is SPF 46. Um, I use the UV clear. There's so many different kinds. Elta MD started off as a medical company for hospitals and eventually went into like the beauty world. But I have the tinted one. I love it. It also is so hydrating. It doesn't feel like a sunscreen on, on the skin, which I love. So it doesn't smell um, like a sunscreen. It actually leaves my skin very hydrated and a lot of times i'll skip my moisturizer in the morning because i am oily and i'll just use this and it works amazing so i've been obsessed with this and you don't even need a full pump to cover your whole face and it's amazing i've had it for a while so skin types um this is great for skin types that are prone to acne, rosacea, hyperpigmentation. It's a great sunscreen for sensitive skin. The next product I wanted to mention is my Holy Grail. You guys know I've been using this for years. This is my different gel. This is my acne treatment, which you don't have to have acne to use this. If you have a little blemish that you feel is coming on, I pop this on. I let it dry and then I'll go on with like putting my makeup on or I specifically love to use this on my face at nighttime. Um, so I'll put like a pea size and I'll just spread it in my problem areas. This helps my my skin stay clear. I love this stuff. I know a lot of my friends are already using it. A lot of my followers are already using it. Um, so, and they love it and they keep repurchasing and you can see mine is empty and I've gone through maybe 10 of these at this point. I don't know, a lot. And it's inexpensive and you can buy this at Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, anywhere, any drugstore. I'm going to just quickly mention some of my products that I use daily that I've been using for years. I've mentioned a thousand times. You guys will probably already recognize a lot of it. But this is um, my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I use it in shade buff at the moment. Um, I love it. It's amazing. It has like a satin finish. If you don't set it with a powder, your face will be like not matte or glowy like right in between i think it gives it like that healthy healthy glow i love this i do set my uh, foundations and i'll show you what i set it with um shortly but the next thing i wanted to mention is the my mac pro long wear as you can see i just got a new one um this is the pro long wear concealer i always use it in nc15 because i like my under eyes brighter so it's much lighter than my foundation but that's the way i like it um I have also been using this probably since before I even got married. I mean, it's been a long time. So I love this stuff. It's amazing. Recently, what I've been using to set my foundation and my concealer is this Marc Jacobs Finish Line Invisible Powder. It's a loose powder. It has like a mesh right in here where the powder comes out from. I love the concept. This portion goes in and doesn't allow the powder to kind of get everywhere. So easy to travel it with. Um, I love the finish. I love everything about it. My sister actually purchased this for me. She got me this little Marc Jacobs um, makeup kit for Christmas and this has been like such a flippin' hit. I'm obsessed with it. I see myself repurchasing this just because of the packaging and I love how the powder comes. Another product I really wanted to mention, I have been using this for God knows how long. It's the NYX um, eyebrow pencil and I always get it in the shade ash brown i believe yes ash brown so this is their micro pencil it's kind of like automatic you don't have to sharpen it um and it has a spoolie on this side 
which I love. I like I need to do my brows with a spoolie. And I also began using this got to be glue. It's like for to spike your hair, but I use it for my brows. So if you love the wispy hairy looking brows what are they called like the laminated looking brows if you like that laminated look you can do this um it's so strong it comes out and you little this thing will last you like probably two years because you need the smallest amount for the brows but after i do my brows i like to brush this through and kind of make them a little hairy looking i know it's not a vibe for everybody but i've been enjoying that a lot lately also i wanted to mention this um lip liner it's by morphe it's in the color sweet tea i probably have 10 of these like different shades but that's what i have on my lip right now morphe um lip liners are everything they're inexpensive they're quality is very similar to the mac um lip liners i completely stopped buying the mac liners because of the price point this is like a fraction of the cost so that's a good product also i wanted to mention i use this real techniques beauty sponge to apply my foundation and my concealer i've been doing it for years i love it it's still my favorite one i still prefer this over the beauty blender which is like 20 bucks and that's this is like four i don't know it's a big difference the next product I wanted to mention is this MAC bronzer I've been using. As you can see, there's like a, a little bit of a sheen in it, which I am living for right now. I have it in a color dark golden. This is just their mineralized skin finish. So I just got it in a really dark color and I use it as a bronzer. It's amazing. And I like that it's like magnetic. And there's so much product. I've been using it for months and it's still going strong. I've been using this Fit Me powder. It's a pressed powder, matte and poreless Fit Me powder in the shade 120 Ivory, Classic Ivory. This is what I used to set my whole entire face after I put foundation on. I put the Marc Jacobs one under my eyes, and this one, the pressed one, I put all over the face. That just sets my makeup. Since I am oily, I have to set my makeup, or everything just starts to slip and slide. I also wanted to mention my favorite mascara, my drug, favorite drugstore mascara. This is the Colossal Express by Maybelline. I just get it in the darkest color. I think it's called the Classic Black. I don't use like the waterproof ones or anything like that. I just use the regular original Classic Black. I love it. The next product I wanted to mention is my favorite blush. I've been using it for over a year now. My friend Marina got it for me. As you can see, it's the perfect color. It's in the shade We're Going Shopping. It's by Kylie Jenner. It's her pressed blush powder, and I love it. I think the color is perfect. It's like a peachy apricot color. These are my favorite shades for a blush. Anything like peachy, warm toned, I absolutely love. So that's been my favorite um, blush I've been using. It lasts such a long time. I actually have it on today. Another thing I wanted to mention is this Pixie highlighter. As you can see, it really reflects well. And there's no like glitter specks in it. It's kind of like iridescent gold and iridescent rose gold. And I use them together and I put them on my cheeks. I actually got this in one of their PR packages and it is amazing. This is one of my favorite products that Pixie makes, hands down for sure. And it's in the shade Subtle Sunrise. I don't know if they still have it. I hope they do, but Target carries them. The last product I wanted to mention today is this KK Beauty eyeshadow palette. So my sister got me hooked on it. You'll see I'm obsessed with it. Like, look at this. That hit pan a long time ago. This one is like very indented. I actually have it all on my lid today. This is one of my favorite shadows. You can put it on your brow bone. You can put it on your lid. Um, I love to mix these two. I've been doing that a lot lately because this color always matches my blush. And I like it when everything kind of goes. I also use this almost regularly. This is such a great one to begin um, blending into the crease and then move on to this one. Obsessed. I always use this one as well. I, I love it. I kind of use these in combination. I use this. I smudge this on my lash line instead of black. I'm, I've been using this like dark, cool tone brown. So awesome. it's like an awesome, awesome palette. The only one I don't really reach for is this mauvey one, this purple undertone. It's not my favorite. I still use it, but it's not my favorite. I actually love this one as well. They're great. Literally, every single color is amazing besides that one that I don't really use. But I'm sure it's because it's my skin tone. Um, I'm very fair most of the time and that color just doesn't suit me well Anyway, you guys I'm going to run to the post office. You guys could probably tag along um, I'm going to make some returns. 
I, I ordered this insane package from Misguided and I only used half the stuff because I hate shopping online. I love it, but I hate it because I have to return most of the stuff I've ordered. So I have to return all of this. You guys can come along with me to return that. I also have a, uh, a Zara return. I have to return that thing because it's like, how much is that? It was $50 for one shirt that looked insane on me. And Zara fitting rooms are not open. Ugh, so annoying. Like what? But yeah, I got this like little olive green tan glitter dress for New Year's. No go. I also bought these tie-dye joggers, which I kept the top. I got like a matching set. I kept the top. It was really cute. And then these came in like bell bottoms. I'm like, that is not what the photo showed online. And then I'm just complaining now. Let's just complain. And then I bought this. Um, look, it's like a one sleeve dress. It's like a scrunched white dress. It's like the material of like a men's dress shirt. And it was disgusting on me. And then, oh, and then I got this bodysuit that has like straps that are, what, are, what is it called? The straps are, I don't know. They're like see-through straps. And they're like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's such a cute concept, it did not look good on me. I love how I'm showing you all my returns. I should have showed you the stuff that I kept. I wanted to do a haul, but I didn't. So, and now I feel like the clothes is like a month old. I'm not doing a haul anymore. Oh, and then I got another dress. This black long dress, it's like almost to the knees and has like this cute slit in the front. And the bottom was just way too low. I could not pull that off anywhere, anywhere. Not even with friends. It was just not okay. So we, we can go return some of this stuff. So I ran all my errands. Um, I returned the stuff at the post office. That was like a minute. Luckily it was empty. And then I ran into Zara, returned my shirt, but I ended up buying more things. It's a few days now and I'm checking in again. Um, I have a nail appointment coming up and I'm actually getting these changed out to probably a dark color. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I wanted to go to Starbucks, maybe take an hour to read. <gasps> I forgot something in the house. Let's park the car. I actually forgot my smoothie. So once a year, I do like a smoothie cleanse. I don't know if it's really a cleanse. I just do the 10 day, there's like a book out there. It's like 10 day smoothie something. And I do it for as long as I can last, usually like five days. And I decided to do it this year again. I've literally done it maybe four years in a row now. So I made my smoothie. It's in the house. I'm on day one. I think it's December 12th. Wow, what am I talking about? It is January 12th, 2021. So yeah, I'm going to go run back in and get it. Probably will grab a jacket since it's 46 degrees, but I hate jackets. They're so bulky and big and I don't know what to do with them. And then when you're in the car, it's hot. Oh, it's too much. Winter is not for me. Anyway, I'll be back. It's funny because in my last video, I mentioned how <laughs> when we leave the house, we always end up going back inside like two or three more times. Is there anyone else out there like that? Or is, is that just us? Like, I always forget something. And I always, where's my jacket? End up returning, at least I would say like 80% of the time. I'm like in a driveway, I remember I forgot something. So I grabbed my jacket. Let's grab this smoothie and I want to show you the little containers I I use for my smoothie one second let me get back in the car so today's the first day I'm vlogging on my new iPhone my husband got me the iPhone 12 Pro Max I could be butchering that completely but he got me that the phone a few days ago and I was always curious 
how it vlogs because I feel like it's so easy to just grab your phone and not think about like, is my camera charged or, you know, and I know a lot of people do vlog on their phones. So we just test that out. See if that makes things a little bit easier. I do wanna show you guys the smoothie cup I'm using currently that I love and I'm going to try to find them online to purchase more because I think it's amazing. So on my birthday, we went to the mall and we had like lunch at the mall. We did a little bit of shopping. This was all the way back in October. Um, it's just one of the days. I think it was on my, on my actual birthday. So, and then we went and we got, I got some, what did I get that day? I got some sort of Asian food some sort of like noodle whatever and they had teas like asian teas uh, i think i got like a peach green tea or something like that and it came with this cup and i kept it because i love everything about it i love that it's clear i love the lid this little heart is actually a stopper um let me take it out and show you what it looks like so it's this little stopper so it doesn't nothing leaks out but the cool thing is when you're ready to drink, you can put the stopper on the side here. It's like a little spot for it. I don't know, I love the freaking design. I don't know why, and it's the little things for me, for sure. So I love the idea of this cup. I just think it's genius. And also there's this part right here for a straw, for like those big straws. If you're having like, I don't know what it's called, like a boba tea, those little bubbles in there. Um, I'm not really into that, I've tried it before. I'm like not in love, maybe I haven't tried delicious ones, but um anyway so i really really like that cup so i have been making my smoothies in there my kids love this cup too so i hide it from them since i only have two of them i don't want them to get misplaced but yeah anyway you guys i'm going to go to starbucks i'm going to sit down probably get myself a coffee just set up and yeah also i wanted to mention that I had no luck at the mall the other day when I went shopping and um, I think that's where I left the video off. I did not find any cute boots. I did not find any cute sneakers. I feel like the stores are so empty at the moment. No options. I mean, there are like a million options, but nothing I liked. Um, and I hate ordering online, but I think I'm gonna have to do that. I hate ordering online because, especially when it comes to like booties, I ha they have to look good on a foot, you know? And I, I tried on so many pairs of shoes at Nordstrom and either the, the front is too short or it looks funky around the ankle. Oh, such a, I don't know, such a flop, such a fail. So I don't know, I'm going to have to do some online shopping. Um, and same thing with sneakers. I am such a neutral girl. And as much as I would like love to wear like pink sneakers or something like that, in theory, I'm sure it'd be gorgeous depending on the outfit, but I'm such a neutral girl. So to find like stylish black or white sneakers, it's very hard for me, very hard. Like I have a pair uh, that I was wearing that um, a few days ago by Nike and they're pink, black and white. And as I literally think they're the cutest thing in the world. I wear them once every three months they're still too loud for me so I want like a chunky sneaker I don't want it to be like anything in your face so yeah anyway that's my little rant also I wanted to mention that my eyelashes have been so bald I have been going to the same lash girl for the last like six seven years I don't even know how long like very long time she always does a good job when I come out from a refill my lashes look amazing and then a week in two weeks in everything starts falling out and I see that they're constantly falling out with my lash and I'm wondering if it's because I am too oily at the moment but nothing's really lasting on me it's quite sad I just love a full look anyway girl guys this is not a real problem it's not but I just like to complain once in a while so I stopped by DSW to pick up some Dr. Martens and these are not the exact style I wanted but it works I'm not driving around anymore 
wanted to show you I picked up the black Napa boots I think they're cute they're simple they're in adorable but I have to say the lady there is like so passionate about her job she had me laughing. So I'm standing in line and it's my turn to get checked out. And she goes, next shoe lover in line. I'm like, that's me, you're coming, I'm coming. <laughs> She's like, so? She was like so enthusiastic. I'm like, I don't really like you. My hands are done. Got my manicure. And now I'm heading home. Hubby's coming home, kids are coming home, everyone's coming home, and I will probably cut my video here because the house will be loud and full of people. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will catch you in my next video.